Aloha, people. People of Twilight, people of YouTube, people of the internet in general, this is Personal Demons. We all have our own personal demons. Last time, a young boy's personal demon was his grandma, who was an actual witch. And did we manage to kill her? She was allergic to tea. We we're going to pour tea all over her. Do you remember that one? It was a storm. And the mother had to go off to see little Billy in the, the hospital. It was a wild episode. This one may or may not be a wild episode. Am I ex expecting literal demons? No, but I wouldn't be surprised if we got them. Depends on the length of the episode. If it's a short one, maybe, maybe actual demons. It's kind of a goofy one, maybe actual demons. If it's a serious one, metaphorical ones. Let's find out. Learn Balsam! Was it mystery? Finds home in TV land. Oh, Gunsmoke. Ah, Desilu. These are real shows. Maybe we should do some writing for some of these shows. Hey Rocky, am I interrupting anything? No, 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 no. My Hushman watch that you ran out on me and Your what? But I noticed you had some batteries stored in the refrigerator. Right, help yourself. Thanks a lot. What? How's the writing coming? Slow and steady. Oh, uh, it's not. Got to do a little slow stop here or something? It's more than a slow stop, it's a it's a stop, it's a dead stop. When is the last time that you had an original idea? No, oh, jeez. Never. I haven't had an original idea for the last... 20 years? 20 years. Yeah. Rehashed plots and recycled characters. I don't remember yep. the last time that I had a, a fresh idea. I was reading a piece in the Digest about how to write stories. And they say you should always write about what you know. Yeah, what do you know? Well, writing is the only thing I know. I've been doing it for well, 30 years. Write about writing. Maybe you ought to think about retiring. <laughs> Not yet. Not until I've had that one last original story. Here's to it. You have to have some beers. Maybe that'll give you some creativity. That kid almost ran him over. Oh, a demon. An actual demon. The demon of inspiration. That's genuinely creepy. The noise is... Less so. He's just trying to help you. Do you want to ride? A ride somewhere? Get out of here. Yeah, Rocky. I'm seeing something, dude. Hey. Is he looking out the window? You don't want to watch? Harry. I'm losing my mind. I saw someone today. A demon. What? A creature. Huh? I didn't hear what you just said. you ever see said. gremlins, dude? Like that. Nothing. Sounds crazy. Is it outside? There's more than one. Come here, come here, come here, look. You see them? The three little men? Can he see them? I don't see anything. They're there, they're there, they're there. He doesn't see them. They're right there. It's just in his brain. They're there, they're there. I don't see it. They're there. Come on. Come on. He's like William Shatner on a plane. Who did this they're to gone. his car? Who's gone? They wrecked his Look car. What they've done. You saw who did this? There was three of them. Three of who? The little creep. Teenagers. You saw who it was. Teenagers. We have to call the police. They're not gonna believe you, dude. No. Just write about them. They'll no go, police. They. They'll go away. They wouldn't believe us. <laughs> they're trying to get into your house. They're wrecking your place. They're wrecking your kitchen. Your beers. They're stealing your beers. I think it's time to check into the Psychiatric Institute. No, all these papers. That's more than free. I don't believe this is happening. Yeah, go to a bar. Maybe that'll help. Why are we here? I don't see you. I don't see him. 
Oh, there he is. What's the matter with you? It's been weeks since you've written a word. I can't write. Why not? We can't concentrate. Why? They're everywhere. They're here. Who's everywhere? You wouldn't believe me. <laughs> I've been your agent for 30 years. There they are. There they are. Just ask them what they want. They're here. Oh my god, they're coming for me. What am I supposed to be looking at? You can't see them. Yuppies, dude. Yuppies. Rock. See? One of them. Are they actually breaking glass? They're me. They're coming for me. Oh, oh they are. I'd say some republic. They can't kill him in public. I have food. Enough. But I don't know how much longer this thing is going to go on. No, I can't leave. I can't. They'll get me. Don't come over. If you do, I won't let you in. Just disconnect your phone. I'm still holding that hope that they're here to help. Uh, is it the demons? Yeah. Oh no, they broke in th through a window. They better pay for all this. What do you what do you want? What are you doing here? Do you want me to write about you? Why are you doing this to me? What do I do to get rid of you? It's very simple, Mr. O'Ban. They can speak. Write about us. No, yeah, that was easy. Just write about us. No oh boy. Let's get your names. What about you? Bitey? What's your name? Scratchy? Get over here. What do they call you? There's some beers in the fridge. Could you quieten down a bit though? No, instantaneously. <laughs> hey! The guy who wrote, the guy who's in the, the, that guy who was in the, the episode, wrote the episode. He also wrote Wordplay. One of the earlier episodes, which I quite liked. This one? There's a couple of things I like about this episode, a couple of things I don't like. What I like about it is... One, we got Martin Balsam, who we know from the original Twilight Zone quite a bit. Um, two... You know what? I do like the idea of these creatures that only he can see. The only problem with the creatures, this this all ties into, I kind of like and dislike the creatures themselves simultaneously. The their craziness, their mischievousness, their constant the audio the audio of them is uh, quite annoying, which is the whole point of them. Uh, but their very first appearance, the very first time we see them, we see just one of them. And it's kind of from a distance, and it's and it's just staring at him. That's a super creepy moment that could have taken this episode in an entirely different direction. It could have... I don't know. There's something about that one moment that if you had kept... If you had kept it like that, from a distance staring at you in various locations, until you finally confront it and it just wants to be written about, I think that's a better episode. Then they're crazy. We're gonna. Hey, remember William Shatner on the plane? Well, they're back, and now there's more of them, and they're just gonna wreck your whole house up, and all your friends are gonna think you're you're slowly losing your brain, you know? Because all the extra people in the episode, apart from his the beer friend, were just kind of like nothing characters really. All the people at that party, at the watch party, and. His agent, and you know, there, there's something better that you can do with this idea. I do like the idea that the the writer of the episode 
kind of put himself in the episode, almost as if it's a something he went through personally. At least the writer's block part of it. Until he decided to write about what he knew about, which was writer's block. So he wrote that episode. It kind of it is kind of self kind of very meta on that level. And personal demons is a common phrase, and he's turned it into, you know, literal demons. So that's kind of a funny little thing too. But I do think there's a better episode there if we just tone it back a bit. How do you pronounce that name anyway? Rockney? Rockney. I'm going to call him Rockney. I thought they were calling him Rocky. Rocky Balboa. The next episode on our journey through the 80s Twilight Zone is called Cold Reading. And I'm looking forward to Cold Reading. I'm looking forward to it more than ever because the one after that is called The Leprechaun Artist. And <laughs> let's just say I'm not looking forward to that one. So we'll enjoy Cold Reading while we... Hey, these aired on Valentine's Day. Drama, personal, demons, and cold reading. Well, so far we've had a witch, a bunch of demons. Uh, it's not very, it's not very romantic so far. And cold reading doesn't seem very romantic either. But hey, maybe, maybe I'll be proven wrong. Maybe I will. Come back and see next time. Have a great day. If you ever get writer's block, you know, just... I don't know. Ask ChatGPT. That's the, that's the new thing nowadays. Can't have writer's block when you could just turn it over to an AI. So, yeah, I'll see you next time.